I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions, and this is your bullish bit brought to you by BitcoinWell.com, the simplest and quickest way to buy Bitcoin in the US or Canada and get it directly into your own self custody. Check them out today at the links down below. The, the overarching theme of why I'm bullish is that entering such an adversarial environment gives us in the Bitcoin space a unique opportunity to, to reassess what we thought Bitcoin was, what Bitcoin actually is, and what Bitcoin could be. Uh, and we've seen some fantastic progress towards what Bitcoin could be. Uh, amazing things like people thinking more deeply about privacy tools on Bitcoin. We've seen like a, a new coin join protocol that was written by Super Testnet that has some really interesting advantages to, to existing ones today. Uh, we've seen things like the BTC++ conference where the, the overall focus was essentially how can we make Bitcoin more useful? How can we give users of Bitcoin more tools without making it harder to run a node, without making it harder to validate transactions? Uh, and there was a lot of just fantastic work that went went into that conference, fantastic co conversations that happened. Sadly, I wasn't there, so I've just been kind of trying to live vicariously through people who were. But uh, there's a really good article by by Reardon on on Twitter who walked through a lot of this stuff. And it, it gets technical, but the, the crux of it is there are ways that we can improve Bitcoin, make it easier to self-custody, make it easier to have privacy, make it easier to do inheritance on uh, Bitcoin, make it easier to do shared custody on Bitcoin in ways that still preserve the core of what we want, which is making sure that it's easy to run a node, uh, making sure that it's easy to validate transactions, and, and making sure that it stays decentralized. So that's kind of the first topic, is that, that general approach to improving Bitcoin, and there's a lot of movement behind that in a good, conservative, safe way. Like I think people get scared when they hear improving or changing Bitcoin, but not changing the fundamentals like 21 million, not changing anything that people kind of hold near and dear, but think about how we expand the functionality of Bitcoin in a, a safe and sane way. We just saw the Bitcoin improvement proposal for silent payments merged into uh, the Bitcoin bit catalog. So basically you can, you can read more about what silent payments are there, but the significance of this is it kind of signals to developers that it's, it's go time to start implementing this. And to break it down really simply without, without boring you all to tears, essentially what silent payments are is you can have a unique type of Bitcoin address where you can share this either with one person or you can post it in your Twitter bio, you can post it in your, your Noster bio, you can even potentially put it as part of your profile in Noster down the line. And what happens is when someone wants to pay you, they're able to derive a unique Bitcoin address from that public address that you've posted. But no one can just take that address, paste it into a block explorer, and see what payments you've received. You can detach the, the history, detach the, the data around what transactions actually happened without requiring someone to ask you for a new address or without requiring someone to uh, run a server if they want to accept donations in a privacy-preserving way. So it's a massive step forward in enabling, especially like donations for free and open source projects, donations for NGOs, uh, tipping for random people on chain. It's, it's a massive step forward in that space. And it's an improvement for privacy and user experience in a lot of ways, which is a, a rare thing that those two go hand in hand. But the, the removal of the need to DM someone and be like, hey, send me an address so I can send you some Bitcoin but rather they could just have it in their Twitter bio. You can send to it and no one will know that you sent them a payment. No one else can understand what's happening there except for you and the person you're paying. And anyone can use that address and you'll all get unique addresses every time you go and use it.